Dear viewers, we greet you all in the matchless and wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and welcome you all to the Gracious Word program. May the grace of God and peace of Christ be with you all and guide you all as you desire to study the Word of God. Beloved brothers and sisters and my dear friends, today let us meditate based on this verse from Job 37, 14. Listen to this, O Job. Stand still and consider the wondrous works of God. So, God talks to Job and tells, Stand still and consider the wondrous works of God. So, let us today give some time to know about this. Let us all stand still and consider the wondrous works of God. When we see all around this world, we can see the wondrous works of God. So as a busy human being, as a human being, as a man and woman living in this very busy world, all for this worldly sake, let us also give more time to consider the wondrous works of God. So our meditation today will be based on this verse. Let's stand still and consider the wondrous works of God, as said to Job. Sometimes we need to just stand still and think about how awesome our God is, how wondrous His works are. So this is the basic thing that we can do to respect God and His creation. So let's read some of the verses and meditate based on this verse. God's wondrous works are described as how it is described if we describe and give a value for it how it is described in the bible let's read some verses deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 4 he is the rock his work is perfect for all his ways are justice a god of truth and without injustice righteous and upright is he from this verse we can read that god's works are described as perfect Perfect means no weakness or no blame can be found in that. So, perfect without any correction. So, how God's works are described, how God's wondrous works can be described, it is perfect. The word tells like this, 32.4 tells like this. He is the rock, his work is perfect. So, God's work is perfect. So, no need for any correction for the work of the God, for the creation of God. We are perfect because we are created by God. The world is perfect because it is created by God. But sometimes there are some changes happening in this world. Why? Why it is happening like that? Because man has made the world like that. I am sometimes becoming weak. I am sometimes becoming sick. Why? What happened to me? Why it's happening so? If God created me, I should be perfect. That's not the case. Because I am becoming weak. I am sometimes imperfect because I have made that worse. I have made my body worse. I have made my mind worse. So, but God's creation is perfect. The second thing, how it can be described, how God's wondrous works are described. Let's read Psalm 66 and 3. Say to God, how awesome are your works. Through the greatness of your power, your enemies shall submit themselves to you. The second thing, God's work is awesome. It means it's like a, a terrible one. It gives us fear, but with wonder. We are wondering about that. So that's the word. Fear plus wondering. So that's the thing. God's work is awesome. The third thing we can read is from Psalms 86 8 to know how God's work can be described. It is incomparable. It cannot be compared with anything. Psalms 86 8 tells like this Among the gods, there is none like you, O Lord, nor are there any works like your works, nor are there any works like your works man is uh, inventing he cannot create anything daily man is trying to invent inventing means from the creation he is trying to invent something man ever and never cannot create them something creation is doing something from nothing that can be done only by god 
but man is trying to invent from something he is trying to invent something so man is trying to invent many things and he is trying to project that as a creation above the work of god but no time nothing can be like that god's wondrous works are incomparable it cannot be compared with any one's work because he stands alone no one can come near to him in his creation or anything what he is doing the fourth thing how god's wondrous works can be described is let's read revelation chapter 15 verse 3 and they sing the song of moses the servant of god and the song of the lamb saying great and marvelous are your works lord god almighty just and true are your ways o king of the saints with regards to his works we can find in this verse that great and marvelous are your works lord god almighty so great and marvelous the fourth thing how god's wondrous works is described is great and marvelous how many times we have seen the hills the waterfalls the rivers the oceans even when we scan our body we can see marvelous creation we are we can wonder about us we can wonder about the creation we can wonder about the nature because his works are great and marvelous let's also continue this meditation by looking how god's this wondrous works are shown through what media this god's wondrous works are shown the first thing it shown to us through creation we came to know about god's wondrous works through his creation genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to 3 tells this and psalms 139 verses 13 and 14 tells this psalms 8 and verse 3 tells that the heavens declare the wondrous works of god let's read psalms 8 and verse 3 when i consider your heavens the work of your fingers the moon and the stars which you have ordained so when man considers the heavens that is the work of god's fingers so we can read from the bible god just tells that let there be light let there be heavens let there be water so it happened but it was in a such a way that he made them all by his fingers it was so perfectly made so here we can wonder about his works that the works of his fingers so the heavens are proper in uh, time and proper in their functions because they are his works the third thing we can read from psalms 107 and verse 24 they see the works of the lord and his wonders in the deep not only the heavens declare god's wondrous works not only the creations declares the wondrous works of god even when we go deep into the sea we can see so many living things so organized so uh, diligently made and they declare the wondrous works of the god when i go into the deep sea there is a complete uh, different life the living things there so they declare or they show us how god's wondrous works are we can read from titus chapter 2 verse 14 that we the god's people are his wondrous works who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from every lawless deed and purify for himself his own special people zealous for good works in this verse we can read about the value of human life how god made human beings as very special one we can read again and see the value of human being here who gave himself for us to give us a hope for eternal life the heaven God gave his only begotten son who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from every lawless deed and purify for himself his own special people we are his own special people so God's wonderful work can be seen through the creation of human beings we are the special people of God because we are created in his image we are created for him we are created to be with him as adam and eve they both were in the garden with god 
that was the kind of life god wanted with the human beings so he wants the human beings to live with him for that reason to enjoy the life in heaven with god we have been forgiven we have been given a new life through jesus christ through the death of jesus christ through the death burial and resurrection of jesus christ so let's uh, look into this verse and uh, take a pride about the human life we are the special people of god i am a special creation no matter what the world says no matter what the world uh, gives me or tries to compress me i am a special children of god so we are special people zealous for good works that's the main point we have been created for good works so god's wondrous work can be shown as can be seen from his creation seeing the heavens seeing the deep sea and seeing the human being my dear viewers to conclude let's see some important thing what our attitude should be with respect to god's works we have seen in this message that god's wonderful works are described as perfect and they are described as awesome they are described as incomparable they are described as great and marvelous also we have seen they are shown through the creation the heavens the deep sea and the human beings creation finally let's see what our attitude should be when we see the wondrous works of god first thing we should consider we should think about that how god has created this world and created the human beings the second thing we have to meditate the god's word to know the wondrous works of god finally we have to praise god and share this is the reaction we can give on seeing the wondrous works of god let's read psalms 145 verse 4 one generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts this is the thing simple thing basic thing we can do on seeing the wondrous works of god on seeing the awesome works of god on seeing the great and marvelous works of god what we can do we cannot just keep quiet we have to share this to the other generation this is the thing mentioned in this verse one generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts we request you to consider about this kindly meditate upon god's word and share this valuable thing to the next generation to our children it's our basic need it's our basic thing to do to show our gratitude for this life given by our god be blessed let's pray our heavenly father we thank you for this wonderful time the time you have given us to meditate your word today we have learned that your works are wonderful your works are incomparable your works are great and marvelous thing they have been shown through the creation they have been shown through the creation of the human being our basic duty is to share this good news share the wonderful works of you to the next generation kindly guide us in this endeavor we praise you we thank you for this time bless all the families who are seeing this message let us meditate upon your word and know your will for us in this life in jesus precious name we pray amen it is god's will that you must be saved first listen to the bible truth and you must believe the truth then you must repent from your sinful life then you must confess by words that the lord jesus christ as the son of god you must be baptized for the remission of your sins every day our lord added those who were being saved into his church